Hey guys, today uh, we're going to be showing you how to take the engine off a of Baja Heat or a Baja Warrior, which would be the same thing. And uh, special thanks to uh, my two boys, Jared and Andy, today for doing this uh, video. And they're the ones responsible for doing the work and making the video. And I'm just going to kind of comment a little bit about what I see, what's going on here. Seems like they can bend over a lot easier than I can. <laughs> Alrighty. So it looks like uh, they're starting off pulling the uh, the chain cover off there. Boy, this thing is really rusted. This 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 is one of the mini bikes that's set outside for at least 12 years. So that's uh, that's what's sitting outside it for 12 years and the elements will do for you. That chain is rusted solid. And looks like Jared's going to put on some uh, penetrating oil there. I think that's, uh, I don't know what, dollar store brand or something. PB blaster or something. <laughs> Everything, yeah, everything's going to get, those are the four engine mounting bolts. Everything's going to get a good uh, dose of uh, PB blaster. And you know they don't—they don't sponsor the channel or anything, but you know that's that's what we have available, so that's what we're using. Now the tools looks like uh, Jared's going to be using a three eighths drive, uh, thirteen millimeter socket. He's got a ratchet and extension there, uh, twenty one millimeter socket, and uh, a set of metric. Uh, I call them Allen Allen head wrenches or Allen wrenches, you know. But uh, people call them different things. You call them hex head, whatever you call them. Uh, you'll need a metric set because everything on this bike is metric. Yeah, that's okay. That's a 10 millimeter. We got you. <laughs> I think he's pulling off the... Uh, oh, he's getting ready to disconnect the throttle cable. I know what he's going to do. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a 10 millimeter again. Okay. And this one is a 8 millimeter. Alrighty. I see what you're doing there, bud. Yeah. You're going to hold one, turn the other. I got you. Yeah, that holds the, uh, the cable in place. And that's actually an adjustment, you know, you can make. Throttle adjustment. You got a lot of background noise in this. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys, about that. But, uh, you know, they were filming this outside, so... You get some road noise in there every now and then. But, uh, yeah, that's all the, the throttle adjustment there. and That's got to be re released uh, to release the cable. So, he's going to take all that up. Take that loose. And I don't guess it matters when you do it. Just as long as you do it. You know, you could do it now or when you get ready to take the engine off. But, uh, either one. Uh, now we're going to be going with uh, the Makuni type or a different uh, type throttle lever on this one. So uh, he's going to go ahead and pull this cable and stuff off with the engine. You could uh, you could also disconnect it down there at your carburetor if you wanted to. But since we're going to be replacing the whole thing, he's going to be go ahead and pull that off of there. Yeah, I don't know. That cable may still be good. Uh, probably had squirt a little PB blaster or some. Uh, WD down in there, maybe loosen it up. But everything on these bikes is really, really rusted. 12 years outside in the in the weather. I don't see how they've they've held up as good as they have. Whoa. Some spider critters. <laughs> it's been living in that thing. Look at the, look at all those webs on the handlebar. I'm surprised the handlebar is not rusted solid. Oh wow, yeah, this is definitely. I think these guys are making a Halloween video. Look at that. That's scary looking. All right, he's gonna yeah raise that cable up there then. Get that uh, lead end out of the slot there. Wiggle, wiggle. There it is. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. 14 millimeter. All righty. And, you know, yours may be a different size. I don't know. But if it's a uh, Baja heat, that's what's on here. And this little switch here, you know, we're probably going to replace that. There's a whole kit, and I'll put a link to some of this stuff in, on uh, down in the description if you need the throttle kit. I found them pretty cheap on uh, the jungle site. Oh, yeah, that connector's rotten. Look at that. It's falling all to pieces. But that's okay. We're not going to be using that anyway. Oh, sound like a dinner time. That is a six millimeter, I believe. Uh, five millimeter, okay. Five millimeter Allen wrench on this uh, chain guard. Two bolts. Well, this is much easier uh, just, just talking about somebody else's work while they're doing it. <laughs> That's kind of the lazy thing to do, but uh, you know, these, these guys, so you got Andy on the camera and, and Jared is on the wrenches there, and that makes it much easier for the old man's back. I don't have to bend over and squat down and stuff. All right. And I'm, I may have already done this a time or two. <laughs> All right. And this is the uh, exhaust bolt. I think that's a five millimeter, yeah. Yeah, that uh, that holds the exhaust at the rear of the frame there, just below the seat. And that's about the only bolt you have to worry about taking off the exhaust. There's our 21 millimeter socket. Now, I would have probably used a uh, either a quarter inch or a three eighths drive impact wrench on that and kind of zipped that out. But uh, you know, these boys are old school, so they're <laughs> they're doing it uh, with a ratchet and a socket, and that's that's fine. That's great. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, that's uh, yeah. They're going to remove the the gear, I suppose. We're going to take the clutch and the chain off and the gear, drive gear at the same time. We'll find out. I'm watching along just with you guys, too. So. Yeah, I hear the dinner bell ringing again there. I think where they got this set up, it's on a, uh, a engine hoist. And they've got it lifted up in the air, so it's easier to get down under underneath it for those bottom engine mount bolts. And uh, there's a chain, <laughs> chain hanging down. It's banging against the front fender. <laughs> Either that or somebody's ringing the dinger bell, uh, dinner bell, dinging the dinner bell. Yeah. And what are we doing here? Okay, we're going to uh, pull off the full start housing here. Just the starter cover, not, not the whole. I know why he's going to do this because he's going to hold that flywheel to get that clutch bolt out. Okay. Yeah, next time I'll just lay that uh, little. Uh, or a freight uh, impact wrench out there for them so they can get a hold of that thing and zip those bolts out a lot quicker. Boy, the paint's falling off of that thing, faded out and everything. Oh, this one's got a spacer. Huh. Okay. And these have the, like the little 196 CC engines on them. Oh, I see what he's doing there. Yeah. That'll hold it, yeah. All right, we're good. That's a uh, six millimeter 
Allen wrench he's using on that bolt, the clutch bolt. And I think most of this, uh, the Allen wrench you need is like a five millimeter and six millimeter. So even if you don't have a whole metric set laying around, Aha, he dropped something, but he picked it back up. Good save, son. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like this master link on the rusty chain is just disintegrated. Oh, boy. Yeah, I've been through this stuff before. And a lot of you guys out there watching probably have, too. That thing is rusted, stuck. I don't think he'll ever Wait a minute, it moved. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that one side is not giving up. It's, it's stuck. It is stuck. Sorry, buddy. You're going to need probably high explosives to get that side off. Oh yeah, that's tough. Wow. This is taking up most of the video. We're getting this back. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you don't oil your chains, guys, that's what you get. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's cut to the whole scene. Just take the whole thing off. Yeah. That thing is really, really bad. And we'll replace that. I, I'm not sure if that's a, a 41 chain or a, the 420 chain. I don't know. We'll probably have to... Uh, oh, the clutch came off good. Yeah. We'll probably have to uh, clean a link off and see if it's marked anywhere. Because uh, definitely going to have some new chain. Oh yeah, definitely do not lose this key. You'll need that. Yeah, that's uh, on your uh, rear shaft back there for that rear sprocket, drive sprocket. And we're back here at the back wheel now. You think you'll have any better luck with this uh, master link? <laughs> it's hard to get, there you go, you got it. Oh, oh. almost. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, that's much better. I mean, this one doesn't look as rusty. I think uh, this was probably covered up. Uh, yeah, that fell out. This was probably covered up with the chain guard, probably. So it's not as crusty as what the other one was. But man, that front was really, really crusted up. And then that was underneath that... Uh, guard too so I don't know water got in there somehow though didn't it this one is the uh, six millimeter yeah okay the you got four engine mount bolts up top is a metric six millimeter hex head and on the bottom you got a 13 millimeter now this is a hard shot that Andy got in there he's underneath this is kind of a I don't know, he had to get it kind of sideways there, but he's showing you the bottom of the engine bolts. Nice work on the, nice camera work, Andy. And look, we've got more spider webs and leaves and stuff hanging down. This is, this is scary. I'm going to have to call this the Halloween bike. Uh, it's going to need a good bath. Yeah, we're going to have to get this thing cleaned up, degreased, sanded, and some fresh paint of some sort on here because it is really needing it. There's the bolt. All right. There's the bolt, the washer, and the nylon locking nut. And those are really only good for one time. Pretty bad. So I guess Jared's gonna throw that away. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, we'll get some new nuts put on there, but that's okay. And yeah, yeah, he's gonna get the side cover off. Now we've seen this before, guys. We've got we got four bolts there. And those are all eight millimeter on this one. And some of these little uh, 196 and the and the 212 engines, they kind of mix it up. One of them might have a eight millimeter heads on the side cover bolts there, the full start housing. And uh, some of them might have the 10 millimeter. So just whatever you got, but there uh, should only be four of them. Whatever you come up with. Uh oh. I've done that before. He dropped a bolt down in there. <laughs> there it is. Now this is something that's pretty cool. You see that little magnet on the end of that extension? That's a little uh, metric size, uh, eight millimeter by three millimeter magnet. He buys those like by the, I don't know, 50 pack or something. It sticks us on the end of his three eighths uh, extensions and stuff. And when you put a socket, will fit right over that. Those little magnets will hold the bolt in place for you, so you can start it on the end of an extension. And he's getting these other two engine bolts off. And that is a six millimeter. Yeah. Okay, six millimeter head wrench, he X wrench. Allegrange, what I call them. <laughs> Sorry to get in there. He's trying to hold the flashlight and put the... Yeah, I feel for you, buddy. I've had that too. Usually I'll end up sticking the flashlight in my mouth or something trying to get in there. But this is a job you need three hands for, for sure. But you got it. It's in there. Wow, look at all that crusty spider web and dirt and leaves. Wow. I don't know. It'd probably been better off to like degrease this thing and clean it up before he started working on it, but that's okay. Oh, that's a very important bolt too. Yeah, that's that's gonna be the rear support for the uh, your little uh, gear reduction drive. Now these use a a clutch. And a chain drive, kind of re, uh, gear reduction for the. Uh, some of them uses a uh, torque converter drive, but this uses a clutch with a uh, sprocket and a gear reduction. Okay. Uh, you know, I don't know which one's better. Uh, I've had good luck with these little chain drives; it's fine. But there'll always be something bolting that down on these. So if you got the factory set up. And I think that's the last bolt that holds this engine in place. Get the four mounting bolts, and then there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's loose now. Will it come out? Yes, it will. And that's it. Good job, Jared. Good job, Andy. And that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. We'll see you next time.